Hello guys, uh, welcome to the uh, uh, Semantic Backup Exit tutorial session. Right in our last uh, video, I've showed you how to install Backup Exit. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, this is my. This is the first time I'm launching Backup Exit 2015. So just double clicked on the um, the GUI icon. So currently, yeah, as I told you, this is my test environment, so it's a trial version uh, I'm using. So, so this is the first time it's it's it's, it's loading. So yeah, guys, we don't have any uh, storage configured or anything, so. I need to configure the test job and everything. So I'll show it how to do it. So this is my backup exec 2015 finally installed and uh, yeah. So I see. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's. Okay, so this is. It. Okay, I'm in full screen. Just move it a little bit now. Okay, nice. So this is what is it like? So we have a backup and backup and restore job monitor storage reports. These are the default tabs what we see on the top and uh, yeah currently we don't have any backups we don't have any uh, encryption reconfigured no storage configured so it's nothing it's showing blank and yeah as you know the trial version is just for 60 days it's showing 60 days there and as of now we don't have any alerts so the first thing i'll click on uh, this icon here it, it, it gives all the options where we have configuration and settings, installation and licensing, semantic online, technical support, help and documentation. We will go each and every option feature in detail in various sessions. But today I'll be covering only just overall the GUI part. So the first tab is uh, backup and restore. Click on here it shows what is my server. The current server and what backups we have so the current server name is win this is the the test server and there is uh, no test backup configured and it's showing there are no backups from I mean, last seven days okay and uh, yeah under backup and restore we have uh, yeah different uh, icons here it's the backup how to configure the backup and uh, yeah one time backup we have backup calendar the same thing it will show uh, your backup schedules that are scheduled uh, on this particular server or that particular uh, week or day or month where you want to check and uh, yeah we have create disaster recovery disk option here and also we have a feature one time convert to virtual machine so that's a uh, physical to virtual and you can add new servers here and new virtual hosts okay so these are the different options what we have now yeah, create your own groups yeah backup to disk Backup disk and convert to virtual machine. Backup disk consignment and endlessly convert to virtual machine. So this is one time backup. Right. So this is the first tab. And let's go back to the job monitor. Currently we don't have any jobs running. However, just I just want to show you what what options we have. What uh, new features uh, Semantic uh, added in Backup Exit 2015 from 2010, 2012, or 2014. Right. So that is the whole idea so on a job monitor we have a uh, uh, delete cancel uh, run now hold job activity test run job history new job log error handling verify duplicate so there are a lot of options here added here itself there is where you know uh, in your previous version we have to select the highlight the job and right click and but here yeah, it's a lot much easier okay so 
let's go back to the storage we don't have any tape libraries we don't have a backup for this folder creator so it's showing none here so the options what we had configure storage delete restore pause disable offline so yeah pretty simple and we'll come to reports yeah i see uh, completed upcoming custom configuration See completed jobs, see upcoming jobs. This is the custom you can create configuration about your uh, yeah backup and server. Okay, so hmm, so yeah, yeah, all media reports, all device reports, all alert reports. So we have new custom report, new schedule report, edit, copy, delete. So yeah, these are the um, tabs. So. Uh, so I guess, um, yeah, we will continue uh, in detail uh, in our next session. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, have a nice day.